Yo, I was just thinking, I was watching the uh, one episode. We definitely have to have like some sort of intro or something because it's just us listening <laughs> to, the, to the theme song. And when I watch it, I was like, fuck, this is so weird. And we're all like, yeah, pretty yeah, good. Pretty good. Yeah. Not so. bad. Now, I, 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 I made it clear now or like um, hazy. Yeah. So it, it does help. So you can only see the nodding for a little bit. But um, I love it. Everyone listening, we got a return guest. Uh, oh. John, Thank you, John Simmons. Let's do it one more time. Uh, feels pretty good. We're yeah, gonna yeah, put yeah. the insane reverb on the burp too. <laughs> burp. Actually, that was really gross. So no, was, I liked it a lot. Uh, but yeah. Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming program. back. The program. Dude, I just it, came to chill. I know. I love it. <laughs> it's been a year. It's been almost a year t- since you were on last. You were our first guest, and now which was an honor. My yeah. greatest honor in life so yes. far. And so, I, I appreciate it's only going to become a bigger honor as time goes by. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and um, I appreciate you coming back on. So thank thanks you. for thanks for having me. Thanks, thanks for, dude. Thanks for the cold beer. Mm. Yeah, it's brought to you by, uh, what's it, Hazy IPA? Hi, yes. Yeah, there you go. Shout out to Spawn. <laughs> um, Tay, I, I've been waiting for a week now. Do you have to some right. news for us? I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I have some. I have an. I have a. Li- I have a life update that's like a little exciting. Okay. Um, I uh, after much much time, too long, one might say. I purchased a Meridian. <laughs> a Meridian? Yeah. What's that? That is a body shaver. Oh. Um, yeah. yeah. That's been going on now for body shaver. <laughs> yeah, it's like kind of like the manscaped, but it's um, in my opinion, seems like a little bit of su- superior product. Uh, how do you like it? Because I have ma- manscaped. I, I Whoa! Which which version? Lawnmower. Yeah, but which point? Oh, right, right. But what? Which point? Oh. Oh, I actually don't know. When did you? What year did you get it? <laughs> this year. This year, it's probably a four point oh. My old my old razor died on me. I was like, it's time. Do you like it? It's phenomenal. Have you used the Meridian? I did use it, yeah. Do you like it? Yo, here's my review. <laughs> here's okay. my official okay. review. Uh, good product. Mm-hmm. Uh, still nicked my bag a time or two. Not Ooh. badly, but... The bag got nicked. I, my bag. Bl- blood was shed. <laughs> Blood, was, Blood shed. was shed. I mean, it Ooh. wasn't squirting across the room like a freaking Scorsese movie or yeah. nothing. But, <laughs> but yeah, it was a. Uh, there's a little. There's a l- couple like very small nicks. But you know Ooh. what? I'm willing to pay that price to have beautiful balls. Beautiful smooth, balls, smooth as eggs, dude. Yeah, this is your bell thing. Smooth as eggs. <laughs> he who shall not be named. Did you use it on your face as well or no? Um, well, I have a shaver for my face. Okay. Um, I definitely could, but like, there's I don't pubic like, hair. In I it. don't like. I had to use my facial one before. Yeah. We. So you split them. You have two separate. I have two separate ones. I. That's how I like it. Huh. But it was like desperate measures. Oh yeah, yeah. So you got to do what you got to do. It was it's, a Friday it's, night. It's all your body. It's all the same body. It was a Friday night. I couldn't not yeah. okay. trim. Here's here's what here's why I would rather keep them separate, but I'm not opposed to using the same thing. I don't give a shit. The thought of like when I so when I shave, you know, you have your little stubble like on your neck and shit, mm-hmm. or like little pieces that like microscopic hair pieces that are just itchy and stuff. Mm-hmm. I just think about like shaving my face and then the little pubic hair particles that are stuck in. And they're not particles. There's tiny little nubs of hair. They're stuck in the razor from when I shaved my pubic hair. Oh, yeah. I'm shaving my face, and that stuff gets stuck on my neck and burrows into my fucking skin, dude. Yeah, you don't want that. I have the same exact thought, but yeah. I washed the shit out of it. See, they seem too hard to wash for me. I It comes with a little wow. brush, and if if the brush doesn't do it in a couple swipes, that's that hair staying. <sighs> it's kind of true. Yeah. I dipped it in hot water for like just oh, to kill the They are waterproof. Germs. That's yeah. really good. That's a good idea. So you- Manscaped's sick. Do you think people use uh, have two of them and one for their down low, one for up high? That's how I've like, would it work? Operated. Would it work well on your face? Oh, for sure. Because yeah. your face looks good. Thanks. I didn't shave it with the meridian. I know that's. But... I was kind of hoping to get an actual uh, <laughs> okay. example um, of it. I think it would do a good job on okay. on a face. Okay, because your, your face looks good too. Because I'm like in the market. Because my thing's like at the end of its life, so I need to 
look at something. I need to yeah. step up my, yeah. my unless you spend game. like kind of good money on one of those. Okay. They have a pretty yeah, like all this shit's like short the, lifespan. The the clippers are starting to like fall off. Yeah, and I that, like that. that's dangerous. Yeah. I had the heavy duty clip clippers that, uh, I, was, that I used to like, uh, and it was always Timo. like, here we go, dude. Cross your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I've had some nicks. I've had some close calls. Some slips. See, shaving Ooh. your shaving your balls is a new. <laughs> this is such a man episode for the men. But you know what? This is the kind of stuff that um, chicks want to know about. Yeah, they're dying so to know. I get asked this at, <laughs> all the time. So. Yeah, you hang out with a lot of women. I feel like they're probably just like John. We got a couple questions. What do you do about your sack? Yeah. Let me see your balls. <laughs> do you use the same shaver on your face that you do on your... Uh, no. For, uh, what's the word I want to use? Genitals. Ooh, that's so, no. that's so doctorish of you. I don't. I'm a freak about a lot of things like that. I don't use sponges. I also have two different loofahs, like one for my feet and one for the rest of my body. You don't use sponges like to wash the dishes? Mm -mm. They freak me out. You have what a dishwasher? No. What do I'm you not use? Balling. Um, I've been to your I place. Use, it's nice. I use a couple of paper towels and I put like Dove on it and I scrub dishes with that and then throw it away. Huh. We need well, to get you a brush. We dude, yeah. A brush might be what you want. <laughs> you think? I just yeah. feel like they get so dirty. I get super skeeved out you by throw, you throw sponges. It out. No, I, not a sponge, a brush. I get being. Sponges are disgusting. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They're, they're, SpongeBob, dude, it makes me fucking <laughs> sick. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Fuck him. It's been yeah. a long time. I've wanted to say that. First of all, he's a sponge, which is disgusting. As just right, just off the at the, just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a sponge. I'm already out. But tell me more. Then he lives inside of a pineapple Ugh. under the sea. Can you imagine what it smells like in there? And he and then there's a snail <laughs> that in there. Snail, yeah, that has slime all over the place. Ugh. Yeah. Repulsive. That's honestly the <laughs> most disgusting environment. And where's his dick? I don't know. I don't see Spon it. I don't see his bulge. It's in one of his holes. <laughs> <laughs> I think. That's got to be gotta in one of his holes. It's a logical reason. Yeah, I'm a weirdo about germs like that. I don't like to cross contaminate anything. You're a pretty uh, clean guy. I, I, try, to, like. I yes. try to keep it. We used to share the same shower. We did share the same shower. Sure, it was spotless. The same shower. We used to shower together. We used to yeah. shower to save water and yeah. Save, yeah. yeah, you gotta save, you gotta make a save on bills. We were, yeah. yeah, we were pinching pennies at the time. You know um, how it is. Is it? Are we more fun to do a podcast with than Matt? Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I figured you were gonna say. He gets he gets married the day after that we're recording this. Yeah, it's his wedding eve right now. Yeah, who's who's yelling? Uh, Stop at the wedding. Taylor thought about it. I'm probably gonna do it. Oh. Yeah, we should both do it, and then we should get in a, like a fight over a man. Yes. <laughs> He's mine. I'm gay with him. No, I am. That would be awesome. Yeah, we should do that. That's a good idea. It'd be a really good bit. It'd be a good bit. I don't know. We're just like a real, yeah. It would suck in a moment for everybody, but it would live on as legendary. I wonder if it's being filmed. Uh, if it's being filmed, it'd be even better. Great, great podcast content. Honestly. You know what? If yeah. I, for the pods. <laughs> yeah. If I was a... <laughs> If I was a guessing man, I would say there's probably not filming it. I don't think so. Yeah, dude, that shit gets expensive because you need to pay like insurance crap. What? And it's already yeah. a big wedding. Yeah. Like, there's no way. Yeah, but I kind of want my wedding filmed, which sucks. Because I'm, I, mean, I kind of maybe I want to remember it. I was thinking about bringing these cameras. You're the, yeah, you're the camera guy now. Just set, just, just set these up. Have someone zoom in occasionally on you. Yeah, we're just like, hey, check the SD cards now and again, won't you? Yeah, I, dude, I, I format them every time I. Start every time I do a new. Yeah, I guess oh, people, yeah, I guess yeah, people I do like wedding videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we only have a photographer for our wedding. We don't have a video person for our wedding, but you know. But the photographer is a uh, David David La Chapelle. <laughs> 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 but I, you know, That's I want to look back. Route. I want to look back. You know, if in, you know, my kids are like, Grandpa, how sexy were you? And I get to show them how sexy I was. You know, are your kids gonna call you Grandpa? Uh, Peepa or like Zeus or something cool. Zeus. 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 Zeus is kind of fun. Hey, Zeus. Zeus. I never got to call my grandparents anything cool. Grandma and Grandpa. That was it. <laughs> I hey, thought, mom, I thought, my mom and Papa. I thought that was going to get a lot darker. <laughs> and then you said you oh, yeah. were never. I never common. met. I sadly, I never <laughs> met mine. <laughs> um, yeah, I called one set of grandparents, Grandma and Grandpa, and then another set of parents, 
grandma and grandpa because they were. I like that. Yeah, they were not too long. different, but yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll me and Laura will do Zeus and Medusa or something like that. <laughs> we're know. really dig into the Greek mythology. I mean, I mean if we're going <laughs> <laughs> technically, they're not really like affiliated, but yeah, that'd be pr- those are cool names. So yeah, it's cool. I was just thinking of I just watched Thor. And Which they were, one? The newest one. Oh, and Zeus is in it, and I think Medusa might be in it somewhere. Oh. She might be in the crowd or something. Does it suck? Like that. I liked it. It's oh. not as good as the third one. Hmm. Honestly, and then I watched Morbius. I thought that was all right too. Yo, let's talk about Morbius. Have you seen let's Morbius? Let's get into it. No interest. Oh, dude. Why? It's, it's it doctor? looks bad, so. dude. Okay, so check it out. I have a. I have. A, apparently, I have a specific taste in movies. I, I think I'm pretty easy to please when it comes to movies. Okay. Morbius got shit on more than any other movie I've ever heard, and I watched it, and I thought it was kind of cool. Really? I just saw the trailer, and I was like... <laughs> I wouldn't say <laughs> it was a good movie, and I everyone hates Jared Leto. Nobody likes him. I'm I'm coming around now. I'm a 30 it. seconds guy. So. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. My bad. I meant Bolin no, actually is. Bolin I meant is no a disrespect. Guy. Dude. He used to always put on for them. <laughs> we are the king. Oh, uh, that song's huge. Yeah. That sounds huge. That's because that it changed my fucking life viewpoint. It did a lot for me. What's the one that's like, it's like the shining one? The oh, that, the, uh, that song's called like the... Uh, the the re- the reckoning or something like that. <laughs> it's it's pretty. It's a good song. It's I guess. not a good song. No. It, it literally Dude, sounds. They like don't a, slap. It sounds 15 like fifteen years ago. I thought it was a pretty good song. It sounds like a bad My Chemical Romance song. And we all know my yeah, feelings. Yeah, on that. Yeah, yeah. Did you see My Chem yet? No. I feel like you know someone that knows someone that says, "Oh, you want to come are, to the show?" All my friends are. That's what I'm friends. saying. I like when I moved to California. I was like, everyone loves My Chem out there. Apparently, out Wait, here really? too. Huh. And it was just weird. I had to keep that secret to myself my whole life, and now I can finally be free. You're a fan. Uh, no, I like, I I like the singles. I like the singles growing up. I don't have anything against them. No, I don't. Really, I, I wish them the best, but I will go on tour with them. Yeah, Just <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. We'll if they it. ask us to go on tour um, <laughs> and and give us a really fat guarantee, then yeah, I, I yeah, life changing money, sure. Yeah, life changing. Easy. Of course. But they'll hear this and they'll be like, actually, fuck them. I'll have Jer- I'll- Someone will snitch for sure. Gerard can even come on. Gerard. Gerard, did I say it right? Is that- is he's it- like a hero now. He's a he's a comic book hero and also mm. a m- music hero now, too. I do like Dallas Buyers Club. Jared Leto crushed that. Wait, oh, we're back to Jared? Yeah. Not Gerard Way? Yeah, we can talk about Jared Leto more. Yeah. But anyway, I thought that, listen, was Morbius a good movie? No, it was not. It was not a good movie. Was it was it way cooler than people gave it, gave it credit for? I think it was. I I respect your opinion. I will never watch it. That's that's, that's okay. only because I don't watch movies with any anyone having like a power. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. cool, man. All right, I'll say this. My favorite thing was when their faces changed. I was like, oh, that's cool. It kind of like went in and out of being a vampire to not being a vampire. That was pretty sick. When they looked like vampires, they were cool. The only yeah, they're thing, scary. The only thing that was kind of like. Wait a second. Is first he was like almost like a werewolf. Yeah. Like he it was like it was like he was blacking out. And then he all of a sudden was just like, oh no, I can be a, a vampire whenever I want. And then look normal whenever I want. Drank the blood. Yeah, drank know. the blood. He drank the you know blood, what? Dude. I thought the movie was I had a good time. What would you give it at? Good. What's at your a, rating? At a five or ten. At a five. I'm giving it a solid. You know what, man? I'd give, I'd give it a three. I'd give it a three. I think that's kind of where I was at, too. Out of ten? I, w- at a five. I, w- I want to okay. say t- I want to say a 2.5. You know what? I'd give it a 2.5. Oh, yeah. fuck. I'm giving it a three. I'm giving it a 3.5. It's not three, the best three, movie not you've three, ever seen. Three out of not five. The, not the worst either. Dude, the special effects were cool. He yeah. looked cool as a vampire. Um, Jared Leto is annoying, for sure. But <laughs> like, I think that's a big part of because yo, like his day is coming when it comes to cancellations. Really? You think it's so? It's coming. He's been around forever. I feel like someone would have canceled him by now. It's coming. Do I don't you know. Think it's, you I don't inside think... information? I just have heard enough. You know shit. what? Uh, okay. That's the John's the kiss of death because literally, <laughs> like a few years ago, we were at a party and for no reason whatsoever, John was like, "I just have a feeling that like Aziz is going to get canceled." And no lie, the very next morning, there was like 
the Aziz accusations came out. I can't believe you remember that. Oh yeah, I remember it very much. So because I was like, Damn. "That's crazy." That came that came out of nowhere. Yeah, well, I knew someone who had an experience with them, but I didn't know it was going to happen that soon. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't know your insider trade. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know all the secrets. But stuff, I didn't know dude. that story was breaking or anything. Is it about the person you knew? No. Oh, it was another girl. I'll spill the beans. Let's get this is on YouTube now. Let's let's spill the beans. Yes. <laughs> it's not for me to say. It's it was an, another bad date. It wasn't even a date. Oh, okay. Is he just watch your P's and Q's? But I don't know. <laughs> you know what? I don't know, I don't know the man. I can't speak on him. This is stressing me. <laughs> um yeah, let's talk about something. Different. Yeah, let's get away. Let's get away. Let's I get can't away. believe that happened though. I didn't know that. Happened. Oh yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> Dude, if 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 Jared comes out. If it comes out this month, Tomorrow. yeah, I got <laughs> somebody check on Jared Leto because he's got bad news are coming. <laughs> oh my oh, god, man. that would be amazing! I would I think I truly have a. Gift. You know what? I think he's gonna go. He's gonna sort of um, slowly fade away because he's getting older. So he's gonna slowly sort of any and he's taken less and less seriously, mm -hmm. especially after Morbius. He was yeah. probably putting a lot into that. Like I'm about to be the, jo the, Iron man. the Joker and. Morbius. He was the Joker. Yeah. Well, so both of them were like. Well, he was questionable. Oh, yeah, he was such a bad Joker. I guess that movie like a... was shit. I walked out of the theater and <laughs> <laughs> walked out of the theater. That's a pretty bad movie. Yeah. Um, but walking out of the theater is really. I funny. literally was like, I'm. I've had enough. It was like <laughs> forty five minutes in. You know, we don't have to talk too much about it, but I wanted to walk out of Note. I did too. Once I realized what it was. Yeah. You didn't uh, like it either? No, I liked it. Not I at it was, all. I thought it was cool. It started off strong and yeah, cool. Wish was the fun. whole movie would have been about Gordy. That would have been cool. That, you know what? That would have been much cooler. Yeah. Gordy was... The, the monkey. Oh, yeah. yeah I thought it, I thought that was going to have a big part in it, and then it just ended up not doing... You can tell that like, he just wanted that to be in the movie for some reason. Yeah. yeah it's he kinda, like, really worked it in. and like he's. I guess he's making a parallel with like the animal that's mm. the the monster but um yeah but didn't dude the didn't monster being a roomba fucking is just unforgivable uh, to me <laughs> a roomba that turns into a kite yeah the kite is sweet that stuff i didn't really get when it turned into a kite i didn't understand that and they're like once you just don't look at it you'll be good so i was like <laughs> problem solved oh, easy <laughs> <laughs> fucking problem solved i thought yeah. it was gonna turn the movie don't look up honestly <sighs> don't look i never up. watched that movie yeah it's fine it's fine you, you hated it. I didn't hate it. I was just like... I thought it was a fun thing to stumble... Give I, me I, a break. I stumbled over... <laughs> <laughs> I stumbled over that movie, and I was like, oh, it's 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 fun. It had, you know, hot I, people in it. I, that makes like, it easier. Adam McKay, something about him pisses me off now. One of the movies he makes, it's just like... He's uh, a... Um, the social commentary genius. He's under the... Uh, he's under the... The boot of the Clinton crime family. <laughs> I agree. I agree. He honestly is. He feels like he's just like a famous Democrat. Yeah. It's like, it's super annoying. He's like Michael Moore, but he makes actual movies. Yeah. But Michael Moore's cool. Right? Cool. You would Smart smoke? enough guy. I don't you know smoke that. With him? I smoke with him? Do you think he smokes? I feel like he would call the cops on someone. He's from movie. Flint, right? Nah, dude. He's cool. Michael Moore's chill, dude. He made mm -hmm. that movie about Flint, right? He's a documentary guy? Yeah. He did like Bowling for Columbine and mm. stuff like that. Yeah, pulling for Columbine and uh, the other one. He's the one who uh, he called. Well, he's one of many that was like Donald Trump is going to be president. Just so you guys know, oh, none shit. of you think he's going to be, but he's going to be. He's yeah. got the same thing John I, has. Then I guess I had he's a Facebook shots. post that was like, "You guys are fucking idiots thinking that uh, <laughs> Donald Trump's going to be president." <laughs> <laughs> and Jeff, Jeff Kazaza was like, "You sure about that?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, dude." <laughs> Year later didn't really pan out to so how I thought. So my kiss of death doesn't work on that. On presidents, at least. Uh, okay, okay. You know what? I want to see if he can't turn it around in his second half of the game. <laughs> you think? Dude, he's got Yo, it. what if he came back and just became beloved by all? Yo, I think there's a shot. I honestly think there's a shot. I know we had a rough start. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what if he, <laughs> he comes back, runs on the Democratic ticket? He gets, won't. He won't do that. But no. Just hear me out. This <laughs> idea. This idea. Because he already has his people on the Republican side. Runs a Democrat. They'll still stay with him. Probably. You can just say he's lying 
about being a Democrat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everything he says, he <laughs> looks over at them, he's like... <laughs> it's just winking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what a person. And, but then the Democrats will like be like, oh, no, he's not, you know, he's one of us. And the half of them will vote, and half of them will be the most There's highly no elected way. president. You think he's, he's, he's going to run? He's he says to. he's he says he's going to. Maybe I kind of have my doubts. I think I don't think he would want to win. He might be going to jail. He's not going to jail. I know. He can't go I know. to jail. But that'd be so fucking sick. Uh, what do you think his hair looks like when he's just like posted up? Just at home? Is it just like crazy or I think he wears a dude do rag. <laughs> That's a really good point. <laughs> or he's like a hairnet a hairnet guy or something. Oh, he might be a hairnet oh, guy. Yeah. That would make sense. He wears like one of the um hmm, I don't want to get in trouble here. <laughs> <laughs> um, the thing that uh black gals wear on there, like the little mm. silk. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's not a do rag. Bonnet. It's not, I don't think. Uh, it's not yeah, I, yeah. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know. I know exactly what you're talking about. I just don't know what the word is. Yeah. Yeah. Something. All, all I know is that white people shouldn't wear. It. That's all I know. That's all, that's all I know about them. And he wears it. Yes. And Donald Trump wears one. Yeah. Wears that. that Confirmed in his, in his bedroom. Yes. <laughs> And it has the McDonald's <laughs> logo on it. <laughs> Does he only eat McDonald's? I think uh, like most of the week, <laughs> at least. Like, yo, here's uh, how does that work? Because to get McDonald's to the White House, how are they keeping that fresh? That's it's the, they have the best even, of the best even the, clo- the job. <laughs> even the closest <laughs> one. Yeah. They got the best of the best. Secret Service. They might have like a heating device they put it in. I'm, I don't know. He, you know what I'm saying? Those fries would either get cold, soggy. They just wouldn't be the fries. McDonald's fries get cold so fast. And That's what I'm bad. saying. Like, How would they get? You cannot recover from once they're cold. There might be a McDonald's in the basement. Like they, Richie Rich. they just set up like a McDonald's kitchen. Richie Rich when they had the McDonald's and the... Oh, yeah. Imagine... <laughs> I love thinking about that part as an adult and just being like, yeah, there's just a staff of McDonald's people <laughs> just chilling at their McDonald's just in the middle of the hallway. And they're just like, yeah, I guess we'll just wait till one of these fuckers is like. I guess if you pay someone enough, why not? If someone offered you 70K a year to just chill at the. I guess he was rich. Yeah. 100K. Oh 100K a year just to be a McDonald's worker in their thing. I'd be down. I just also, for him. I also love that his family is just like. Mega, mega rich. Like they're just wasting money the entire time. <laughs> I know. And and then the rest of the kids are like, "Oh man, we feel bad for him. He's lonely." It's like man, lonely at the top. You guys are fools. They should have just been charging him money the whole movie. I I know the roller coaster in the backyard. Fire. Oh my god, Richie Rich rocks. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Is Richie Rich? What's the? Um, it made me feel bad about myself as a kid. But well, besides that. That movie came out, and then Blank Check came out, too. Oh, yeah. And I was like, damn, I want to be rich. Blank this Check's sucks. awesome. It's really cool. Blank Check's a great one. But he only had a million dollars. Now, today, it's like, how far is that really well, going to go? What's up with the girl, his love interest, the older woman? What's up with that? And I don't remember. She's an older woman? She's interest? fine as hell. But, yeah, she, like, look is this up. Flirting. <laughs> she's flirting with him hard. Oh, well, scene. she knows he's got a blank check. You know how women do. <laughs> That's true. That's oh, true. Blank check. Yeah. I used to have a huge crush on her. Really? Is she in anything else? No. Oh. Not that I know of. Maybe ER or something. What um, if she, she might be a, she's probably in a Marvel movie in ER, you know. Grey's Anatomy. That show's still on somehow. I don't know what Cass, she's in. Let's see. I want to see what she looks like. Blonde or brunette? Uh, brunette. Brunette. That's right up my alley. When Tay thinks she's an uggo. Is it a... She have a tickle, Tickle is it babies? Jane I Atkinson? I don't remember her breasts. I, I look at women. Oh uh, yes, <laughs> they're <eyes>. inside. <laughs> <laughs> is it, I don't really look at breasts. Oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> is it this person? Yeah. Oh, she's cute, man. Her name is um. <clears throat> I feel like I've seen Karen, her in something. Karen Duffy. Karen Ooh. Duffy. Let's see. She seems like she's had a career. I recognize her. That's my favorite type of Karen. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. There you um, go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's check out her. Oh, her resume like the is cool. Way. Dude, she was in Dumb and Dumber. Bazinga. Oh, she's so one of the bad people. Yeah. Dude, that's she's the bad so guy. That's so busting. She's with the gas man. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Gas man. She's in she Michael in Moore's The Awful Truth. Wow, full circle. Reality Bites. Dude, she's kind of having a lot of shit. Last Action Hero. Oh, I love Last Action Hero, too. 
29th Street. Get out of fucking town. I hope she's Get doing good here. then. I hope she's doing good. Has she been in anything recently? That's a really good question. Or did she hang it up? It's always a bummer when I go on a Wikipedia page. And Fantastic I see Mr. Fox. Oh, I'd like she was that in movie. a Pepper Ann. Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, it's in cool the seventh grade. grade. <laughs> Yo, we watched that kind of recently, and it's it holds up. It's pretty good. It's it holds up. Yeah, I also I was, watched SpongeBob recently. Too. Was that hold up? I <laughs> it's think pretty funny. Timeless. SpongeBob never. It's gets, pretty fucking never funny, goes dude. bad. I like Hey Arnold still too. Yeah, Hey Arnold kind of rocks. Doug too. Watch Doug. Couldn't get through it a little bit. Watch the first episode. The nematodes are in the first episode. Really? Nematodes. D- dude, Skeet. um, Here. Skeeter, Skeeter, Skeeter. <laughs> I love Doug, uh, but he's pretty soft. He's pretty soft. I was just gonna ask who he reminds you of, but yeah, go he on. reminds me of Corey Matthews. Is just as soft. Uh-huh. Um, Watch Boy Meets World now, and you're like, this is the softest man <laughs> <laughs> that ever existed. Um, he had a pretty soft dad, too. Alan Matthews. Yeah, if I re- if I recall, you, Alan- I thought he was a good father. I wanted him to. Be my dad. Someone Real posted check. a picture of him recently, and he he has swag. The dad? Yeah, he's he's, he's, he's in got cool American history. history X, and that's a totally different part. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is he in the beginning when he like stomps at curb stomps that guy? He plays like their mom's boyfriend, right? Oh. Yeah, he's preaching some. Or does he play stuff. their dad? Their dad. I their dad. Dude, that's a guy that is he in anything else? Besides, yeah, I think so. Is he still around? There's two. Boy he probably looks a lot different now in that movie. The I got big, a question the big too. Dude, dude. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's also in Power Rangers. That's how I remember. Oh, him. Power Rangers. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, I gotta put my phone away, or else I'll just keep looking at it. Oh, just, mm. we look at Twitter and stuff. That's always the best. I think I start to get like, oh, maybe, maybe I'll find something funny for the podcast, yeah. and then I'll just be like looking at Instagram, and I'm just like, why do I follow this person? <laughs> why do I follow this person? Yeah, I follow so many people I don't know. Do you? Do, yeah. I gotta do a clean. Why don't you unfollow them? I don't want to hurt their feelings. Uh, I get, I'm the same way. There's people that are... There's just people on my Instagram saying, and I'm like, should I unfollow them? I'm like, yeah. No, it's, we said, they don't post. We said three words to each other six years ago. I, I, I also yeah, don't not. love those people that they follow you instantly after you meet, meeting them. It's like, now I feel obligated. To yeah. Follow. I yeah. I, truthfully... um. I try to only follow back someone that I feel like I'm going to be. Uh, I know them enough to like yeah. when they post stuff. Like if it's a stranger, I know. LA is weird though because people will ask you your Instagram instead of your number. Like, What's oh. your Instagram? Huh? And then like, oh, they follow me. Do they? Yeah. Do they do Snapchat? It's just Instagram? No, no, no. We're adults. What's your Instagram? I don't know. I'm just trying. To, you, I'm you trying to Snapchat? gage. I'm trying to gauge your audience. Do you snap? I used to. Oh, we all use. I, I I I haven't used it for a long time, and I went and I. It looks like a different app I use, and so I clicked on it, and um, the login's not there. It like locked me out, mm. so I just someone probably Too hacked old. my account. Yeah, they're like <laughs> uh, anyone over thirty. So are you in. really <laughs> sure you need a, a Snapchat right now? Based on his age, based on his birth date when he signed up, I think he's just not. He's no longer eligible. Locked out. Snapchat's like the the shady app. That's the shady app. Cause she deletes. Well, I had a girlfriend who made me get rid of it. <laughs> well, you were you were sending me a bunch of pics so on there. So yeah, but they sense. disappeared after a second. <laughs> I was screenshot, <laughs> screenshot, 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 screenshot. That's how people cheat. People be cheating with Snapchat, dude. How'd you let someone, another person, tell you what to do, dude? I was deep in it. <laughs> I know. Couldn't, couldn't be me. <laughs> <laughs> I was weak. I was weak and manipulative. Manipulated. Nippy, nippy-lated. Manipu- manipulated. Yeah, I ha- thought it was normal. I don't know. I, thought, I don't know. I made. I was made to think so. Happens to the best of us, I guess. Well, let's have a serious conversation. Yeah, right. <laughs> it is. Let's dim the lights a little bit. And no, we look bad when the lights get dim. <laughs> yeah, I love. I love this setup. We Thank filmed you. a couple, and uh, we didn't have these, and it was definitely like, damn. It still looks dark. Yeah. I yeah. Think it is surprising how much light you need for a video. Yeah. I was a little shocked. I thought I, just two were going to handle it. This this is a crazy setup. I'm impressed. I didn't expect Crazy? This. It's just going to get crazy. Yeah. Right now, we'll we got some more shit on the way. <laughs> like a logo in the background. 
Oh, you're it, you're at here. Obviously, yeah. we have the, that's when we get third, space. that's when we get third cam. Yeah. And then you have like the third drinks camp. that sponsor you on the table. <sighs> Dude, that's yeah. good. I'd love that's to, next. I'd love to put this drink in frame, but no one's listening. Mm-hmm. There it is. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, but. Poor us. Yeah, it's it's it really <laughs> sucks to be us. It's like, dude, we do all this stuff, and by we, I mean Jake, to you know, make the podcast cool and high tech and uh, visually stimulating. And Liquid Death can't even send us a few dozen pallets full of. <laughs> I'd even take a shirt. I'd love a nice shirt. I'd rock a shirt. That'd be nice. I would love it if it was printed Ooh. on like heavy cotton. If it's printed on like a thin <laughs> shirt, I don't want it. Liquid death. No, thank you. I was thinking like a nice like V-neck shirt with like this kind of oh, ill fitting yeah. with my nipples really Slim showing. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, sh- the sleeves. I love are, a like... shirt. I love a shirt that makes your nipples pop. <laughs> yeah. Mm, chef kiss right there. That's what we all need. My Hershey kiss type of nips. It really doesn't work in those type of shirts. <laughs> I really love when people. Uh, they definitely got. They definitely don't have the the uh, fitted shirt body, but they rock the fitted shirt anyway. Oh uh, yeah, they have the hourglass figure. Yeah, like that's, your, yeah. that's yeah. <laughs> but it's a little higher than it really should be. How are people not self aware <laughs> enough? Or they just don't care. I see that too, and I'm like, bold. bold move. <laughs> I think they just got big fast and didn't realize it. I just grew up hiding my body in any way. I yeah. Up. So, <laughs> yo, I'm kind of the same way. Like, I don't like. I'll wear a shirt like if I wear a size large shirt. I've I've also we can talk about this because oh. yesterday I I hit a wall where I'm like I hit my rock bottom where I'm like I have to get healthy. Yesterday? Yeah. Why? When? When did they? Because hit? I was I try I put on a pair of my black pair of pants. You already get for the dressed rehe- for a nice occasion for the rehearsal yeah. dinner. Something you haven't worn in a while. Yes, but these pants were previously usually pretty loose on me. And they were pretty tight on me. That happens to me all the time. It, it, it happens, man. I know, but I'm That's just That's usually feeling, the wake-up call, though. You're always yeah. like, oh. I'm just like, what am I going to do? Like, have to buy bigger pants? <laughs> yeah. I know the uh, feeling oh, very well. Yeah, then... Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, you do. It's tough, though, because... Nope, squeezing them shits. We just ate a salad upstairs, and it was the least satisfying thing I've ever eaten. I know, I can't do salads. because oh, I'm full. They make me sad. I'm full. That salad was bomb-ass. I liked it. One, I couldn't finish it. It was, so bl- it was so bland. And two, it was just like, I was just eating. I was like, my body is, at least my brain isn't getting nothing from this. Oh, I liked it. I did. You, you like salad, salads. I got, did you have falafel? 90 minutes later. That's how I feel about Taco Bell. Not necessarily salads. I heard your take on Taco Bell. Yeah, that's Bell. how I feel about Taco Bell. I think Bell. it's bad. It is bad. And I feel <laughs> hungry after a half hour, hour. Interesting. Mm-hmm. The salad, I'll be full all night. I'm ready for ice cream. That's what I probably shouldn't eat. See, that's what I have to stop. Well, I have to figure out eating during the day. Mm. I think if I figure something out like not bad for me to eat in the morning slash lunchtime area, and then I eat like, I do my best for dinner. Mm-hmm. Am I going to eat pizza a lot? Probably. I'm probably going to eat pizza a good amount. It's got, all, it's got vegetables yeah. in it and stuff in it. I yeah. Just, yeah. It's, it's a good choice. But like, I'm gonna try to eat other better stuff. But in I just need to s- snack less. I don't snack. I don't buy snacks. I don't own snacks. I'm a house. snack. But we went thing. in on those chips last night, though. Oh, that's why I went <laughs> off because I don't ever get to do it. I was like, oh my god, I was dipping out of it's control go time. last night. But yeah, I don't buy snacks. That's my trick. It sucks. <sighs> But I just know myself, I'll fucking devour them once I have them in my house. So I get stuff strictly for meals, and that's it. Wow, that's that's very brave of you. It's hard to do. I'm kind of used to it now. I, sh- I want to try to be smoothie every day person. Every Basically morning, what I do. smoothie. It's a good way to live. I do it. It's kind of loud, though. Yeah. It's definitely loud. It's, it's, it's too much of like a... I gotta wait for Kevin to wake up before uh, I... It's too much of a thing, honestly. It's way easier just to order something or just make something quick and easy. even it. when I order something for breakfast, especially if I get like a smoothie from Smoothie King, mm-hmm. one, I know it's not as healthy as the one that I'm making. That's no. true. And it's not as good, quite frankly. You make a better smoothie than Smoothie King? I think well, I do Joey too. does, and she taught me how to make hers. And I think I like Once you like, I like figure that out how to do it right, can't go wrong. Hmm. Huh. You can't huh. go wrong. 
But I hate smoothies with yogurt in them. Oh, see, I'm a yogurt head. I put like a vegan probiotic yogurt in there. You don't like the yogurt, huh? That's my favorite ingredient. I avoid the yogurt. At all costs. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Not a yogurt guy. Hmm. Not at all. Uh, I'm glad I could talk about it here. Yeah, you can. This is an open space. But yeah, 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 no, yeah, 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 not at all. I don't really like it. Interesting. So you're yogurt hating. <laughs> Snapchat, Snapchat denying. Den- <laughs> Wait, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Wait, so all yogurt? Like, what do you? What it is? What is it about it? It's just not fun for me. Not fun. I just don't like the way it tastes that much. Huh. I kind of I feel like it ruins a smoothie. I know. That's interesting, but I'll allow it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, how long have we been recording here? About five hours. Oh, okay. So I think we'll have yeah, enough to cut, pretty good. Good. Doing pretty cut good. into an hour. Um, damn, I guess those salads were dinner, too, huh? That's fucked. Yeah, I, know, I know. You're going to be hungry. What did you have for dinner? I haven't eaten yet. What are you going to... Pizza? I don't know. Something in the fill, in the fill section? Philly? In the Philly stuff, yeah. Triangle Tavern? Many, there's many good spots. Maybe. I don't know what's there anymore. I don't know what's cool. What's it's all hot. different. I'll tell you what's not there. <laughs> Key Pizza. Oh, dude. I drove by that the other... It, Key Pizza collapsed. It collapsed. Yesterday. Dude. And I drove by there two minutes before it collapsed. That's Literally insane. Literally drove right by. Got to my mom's house. Breaking news comes on this TV. <laughs> Did anyone get hurt? <laughs> no. Right Which before they showed up for work, apparently. Can you imagine going to World War? <laughs> and it's just in ruins. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> you would rejoice, right? You'd be like, no. I think I'd be like, oh, fuck. I mean, you'd be like, damn, I guess I get the I day off. Yeah. You'd be like, no I guess I don't have today. a job. Yo, babe, you want to hang out today? I didn't even think about the not your career is over. <laughs> because. Sorry, that's insensitive. That's so fucking oh, funny. Geez. At least no one got hurt. But no work today. You yeah. know what the most fucked up part is? What? We get pizza from there all the time. Dude, it's really? good. And it's good. I think it's good. I is like that what we had at the studio that one time? When Andy and I came over to your studio last time I was here? No. You had pizza in there? Oh, where did we Wait. get that from? Maybe. That was really good. Yeah, we were recording. Maybe it was. Yeah, I think it was. It was pretty good. I yeah, definitely. That. It was really good. It was either that or El Greco. Might have been El Greco. On Second Street. Mm. For everyone listening on Philly area, this probably is oh, sorry. pointless for you, but... Listening and watching. If you can't, <laughs> you you can't go to Key Pizza anymore. So you snooze, you lose. Sorry, dude. I there. hope they build back up their empire. They're gonna man. build back better. We should start a GoFundMe today to build that wall back up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> build it back up. Mm. Yeah, um, I'm bummed, dude. I like that pizza. Um, but I don't know if I've had it. You guys can't confirm or Greco, but um, you guys have tour coming up. Like yeah, we have to the next yeah, we couple weeks. Yeah. October 6th. Cool. Y'all yes. excited for that? Yeah. Should yeah. be good. Should be a good, good, yeah. good, good little run, you know? You got a tour coming up too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end of the month. Starts the 30th of September. <whistles> wow. Yeah. Yeah. You pumped? No, I'm going to throw up. You're going to so throw nervous. up? <laughs> yeah. Why? Are you playing by yourself? Kevin's going to play keys with me and sing harmonies. Mm. Let me sing. But he doesn't drive. So it's me driving my Jeep with him. Like, and the drives are, like, insane. Ooh. Like, eight, nine hours each. No. Here's what you should do. Get get a lot of duct tape. And just duct tape your car to the side of <laughs> Manchester's bus. Yeah, yeah. And, like, it's with <laughs> Manchester l- Orchestra, so the shows are going to be big, and I'm just fucking scared. Still? As an acoustic act, yeah, I'm scared. Well, you have... I don't have, like, a wall of sound to hide behind. You know? Kevin's playing keys, right? Yeah. Have you have t- a wall have of keys to Yeah, there you go. There's <laughs> 96 it. of that. I wanted him like to play just so it's a little bit louder. Than yeah, I think it would be cool, be, man. I wish it was on the East Coast because I'd come out to that. Well, thanks. I would, I'm would. i not going to come I'd put out you on the GL oh, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, i put yeah. that on my guest list. Uh, I won't I don't make it out to the West Coast, unfortunately. I wish your tour... I, well, I just saw y'all in Bakersfield. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, that's it. Dude, Bakersfield is something else. I had fun. You guys found it so weird, good. a weird show. Yeah, that, was, that show was strange. Well, yeah, it was at a pizza shop. It was in the basement Not of a pizza, pizza shop. <laughs> <laughs> Your banter that night got me, bro. I don't even remember anything about it. Oh, it was so funny. 
but yeah, it was fun to like drive an hour and a half to see a show that your friends are playing. I it just felt like the old days. But on the I West know you're Coast. not being, but it sounds sarcastic. What? <laughs> it sounded sarcastic. That was genuine as hell. Yeah, it was really fun to like drive an hour. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your I kind of sat in, tra- sit in traffic for a bunch. I'm dead ass serious. Though. It actually was fun. It felt, like, it felt like going up to Wilkesbury back in the day. How weird is Bakersfield? Uh, it was like 30 degrees hotter. Yeah, it, yeah, it was. Sweltering there in California shouldn't be. I got that off hot. the highway. Whenever I get off the highway, windows are down. I roll them down. Yeah. Whoa, that's your thing. I couldn't breathe. Like the air hit me so hard. I was, like, I was oh, taking I hate back. that, dude. Yeah, I was like sucked. expecting it to be cooler for some reason. It was just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> wrong. <laughs> 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 but yeah, uh, it was good to see y'all play. Yeah, I, out there. I, I don't know if I'll ever play Bakersfield again, but mm, um, if you can't play L.A., I guess Bakersfield's the next best thing. Yeah, it sucks so bad that we didn't play L.A. on the on that uh, tour. I know. Is it because of the Super Heaven Radius Clause? No. I think it was more because Angels Us played L.A. Yeah. for Sound and Fury. Oh, duh. That makes than, sense. Like, and, yo, I guess there was. I mean, technically, we probably could have set up a show, but it would have had to have been during Sound and Fury, so it would have been one shooting ourselves in the foot. Yeah, and that like, makes. I don't want to fucking do that. Yeah, I was. We were already doing enough that weekend too, and I was like, I don't. I don't we'll know come if back. I do that. I'll open for y'all. If you I would want love. Me. Let's do it. You heard it here first. Play in California. I want to play in L.A. Damn it! I want to play. In, I want to play in Brazil. It's time to go to Brazil. It's time to go to Brazil. <laughs> Take me to Brazil. They've been asking long enough. It's time. Dude, they ask, but they don't do anything. I They're know. like a hot chick that just leads you on. You guys I don't been to think South it, America? No. No. Us either. We, we got asked once and then it Or a hot guy that leads you on. <laughs> <laughs> we like we got asked and then it just fizzled out and they took a different band. Um makes sense, but I was bummed. I was bummed when that happened. Yeah, Bailey and Matt got to go because they played with Tiger so. Oh, they did. And then like when balance got offered it, they're like, you don't want to do that. <laughs> really? They turned it down? They were like, well, I'm not going back there. Dude, huh. I heard the shows are awesome. I know Basement played, and there was like millions of people there going crazy. Japan, too. Like, Oh, yeah, you've uh, never been we, to Japan. We got offered it all the time, but it would be, it would be like, doesn't make financial sense. No, it doesn't, but it's it so cool. Know. And honestly, it kind of, uh, No, it's cool. You, you guys, I'm trying to think. Like, The shows weren't killer when we were there. I'll say that. No. I don't care about that. I just care about. Well, that's what I'm saying. But I didn't give a fuck about that. Like there were there was people at every show. Yeah, they weren't terrible. The Tokyo show was good. Like there's probably a couple hundred people there. That's sick. But that's really cool. Besides that, it was like just fine. Like it was it was like felt like it was in a basement of like a five story building that had different shit going on each level. Um, Yeah, they're very compact there. I just like getting weird and that's what I'm saying. It was cool, man. I I'm not a Jekyll, Jekyll confirm. I'm not a well traveled fella. Confirmed. Or, or uh, I'm not a. You've traveled. We've traveled I, together. I, yeah, that's not the right term. I, I don't travel well. <clears throat> Everything. I'm like the idiot abroad. <laughs> I'm like really nervous in like countries that don't speak English. I just I, I feel like an idiot. Um, Your German's not that good. No. <laughs> or nine. Nine. Sorry. No. Well, me and Jake are like the kind of people that we like study. Oh, the yeah. Holocaust and Nazis and stuff. So yeah, yeah. German's pretty good. <laughs> uh, we're up on Have it. Have we forgiven the Germans? For what? <laughs> uh, Do we got to become real YouTubers? Yeah. So like every every few seconds, there's like a thing where it's like, it zooms in. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would have been good. And there's like little question marks like, <laughs> whoop, 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 appear around our head. It'll probably take you like, I don't know, an entire week yeah, to edit it. But yeah, easy done. Yeah. But what I was saying was I like being out of my comfort zone a little bit, okay. and like when it comes in the gig, in the gig atmosphere, gig economy. Yes, I, I love it. I um, just not being in it for so long has made me realize that. And when I am in it, I'm like, that's fucking cool. So you're saying you like being other places besides America, playing gigs, even in like weird towns in America. I just like, so Bakersfield. Yeah, I I like <laughs> I like. I like when things get weird. I'm just like, this is kind of uncomfortable, huh. but here I am, and I have to do this. So. Um, I do, but only sometimes. Usually not in other countries. Other countries is tougher. It just you're sucks. super homesick too. and Your cell phone doesn't work as well. Yeah. And sometimes your car doesn't work. I don't get how, I don't get it. 
It sucks, dude. It's hard in Europe. That's what we're trying to say. It is tough in Europe, mainland especially. Mm. Yeah. Mm. How is the UK? Not that bad. Not I bad. agree. UK mm-hmm. rocks. It's fun. But mainland? Mainland's eh. tough. Dude. You were much you were much better last time you played here. Yeah, no, yeah. That's good. That's that just good. That's just good. That? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever personally got hit with that. Oh, but um so I definitely times. don't like the vibe at a lot of the European shows we've played. How many times have you been to Europe? Twice. Just twice with Bounds? UK three times. Really? Like Dude, we've been to Europe like twenty five times. Yeah. I know you have. It's it sucks. <laughs> well we we learned our lesson. You, yeah. I mean, and you had like cool. You had we that canceled t- our last European tour. Oh fuck you! Yeah. And people are still <laughs> mad at us. For Did us. you post about it that you're going? Yeah, we posted it. Then we had to cancel it because uh, we were like yeah. breaking up. Mm, it happens. Because <laughs> somebody, <laughs> yeah, it happens. So we actually you have to break up. Because the first tour <laughs> you did, you did it with Title Fight, and the other tour, what was the next tour? Uh, us and Sea Haven. Ah, yeah, the headliner. Mm-hmm. That's a cool headliner. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, we were over there. Truly fucking roughing it. Yeah. I was, last time I was there, I was sick for like the entire time. Yeah, dude, it's, it's no fun. It sucked. What, what time of year did you go My over? My feet were cold for that, a month straight. That's what <laughs> that's I'm what saying. <laughs> did you go over around March? Uh, no, I think it was like, probably November. Like okay, October so it was the other side of the, the, uh, I think it was like November. Yeah, it's cold. It's like, yeah, we went when it was cold and wet. Just like exclusively, yeah, dude. I feel like same. We went to the UK in spring once, and that was a lovely. But that was yeah. I, let's see. Yeah, we, we went there. In, we were there in June. And it was yeah, nice. Yeah, it was. It was, awesome. it was really nice, actually. The weather was perfect. It was a little hot, to be honest. It was. It was in the seventies. It was nice. I was like, this is sweet, man. I'm. I'm having the time of my life. Yeah, I like that. It's just uh, we did like uh with the Sea Haven tour. We did a full six weeks in the U.S. The next day, we had one day off, and then the next day we flew to Europe for a month or something. Like, why? Who yeah, planned who that? that? Assholes. I, they hated you. It was, we were so burnt out. I, we had a countdown. We, like, wrote it in the van. We had, like, a countdown. Shows yeah. aren't even fun at that point. Yeah, you're just like, I want to be home so fucking bad. So badly. Um, <sighs> Sorry. But it became funny. Like we just started like yeah, every day, at everything you, that went wrong. You, you kind know? of feel like you're stuck in like a like a Groundhog's Day. You're like, when is this gonna end? It's never gonna end. Yeah. You're like wake up, you have to drive hours, eat some shitty meal, and then play a show. Yeah. I have a Hungry Jack's veggie burger. Yeah. So if you're a young and uh, upcoming <laughs> band, um, just know that it's all downhill from here. Wait, buddy. have you guys been to? Yeah. Have you guys been to Australia? I was gonna say Ohio. Yeah. You've been to Ohio. Ohio. Ever been to Australia? <laughs> Australia three times. Oh fuck! You have been. Yeah, yeah, you guys went early. In, damn. You guys were the first. You guys were the pioneers. Yeah, we were the first. Yeah, we blazed the trail. And we yeah. did first the, band to play Australia. Honestly, maybe record holding for the longest Australian tour. I'm not even joking. I remember y'all being yeah, gone shit, for a long time. That shit was long. I don't think um, Jet, the band Jet, <laughs> dude, could, they're good. Could do a longer tour in Australia. I don't think they could either. I remember. Do you fuck with Jet? Dun, dun, dun. Whenever I hear Jet, I want to skip school. I don't go to school anymore. Dude, cold, cold hard bitch. Are you fucking Ooh. kidding me? One time, Andy and I were skipping school. We were skipping school, and that song was on the Mom, radio. Mom, turn this off. Turn this that off. That song was on the radio, <laughs> and we both looked at each other, and I just like turned it up really loud. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's a good cool, summer man. vibe right it there, It man. felt cool. <laughs> it felt cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Damn, I never skipped school. Oh, Ever, dude? I feel like a giant were you a, pussy. Were you a school skipper? Yeah, dude. I the was second so I good could, at it. the second I could, well, I just didn't care. Same. I did not try. Even in, I didn't try anything in high school. The only time I would get tr- in trouble for skipping school is when I would borrow my stepdad's truck to drive to school, and then I would just not go. <laughs> Where would you go? Um, that's a good question. It was it was kind of pointless because I couldn't go home. Yeah, I well, my mom would leave uh, for work around the same time so i would like when i could drive to school i would like drive around the neighborhood twice and then i'd check the driveway to see if she left and wouldn't they back call in. call call my house yeah sure <laughs> yeah they call would damn, mom get the damn. message no she wouldn't i would intercept it or erase the message damn you guys are geniuses and then forge notes <sighs> I would just be like, yeah, I don't. I skipped. <laughs> <laughs> I skipped. I would only get in trouble if I took the truck. Oh fuck, man! Oh, that's I, cool. 
I really missed out on a whole skipping. I, I always um, thought I was going to get like in trouble. I'm sure I got like the the fucked up dumb thing is I would get in trouble for it. Mm. Like they wouldn't just be like because my mom wouldn't confirm that I was. So I got fucked over for it. I was in in school suspension say, all the in, time. That was a that's a hot like term in school suspension. I feel like that was always thrown around Dude, a lot in school. I was scared of that. You oh. never got it. I don't know why I got away with it. I was. You I got had a charm to you. Three tardies my last semester at high school. Forty three. That's pretty good. It's like the, it's like the scene in Clueless <laughs> when he's like, I'd like to thank <laughs> the people at McDonald's for. Um, <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> and I was like, I'm not supposed to graduate, but I did anyway. Like that's must be nice, bad. man. Yeah, you how did you dropped out? I dropped out. How'd that go down? I was just like, I'm out of here, and they're like, okay. <laughs> the school was like, all right. Yeah, to be honest, it was at the point where I'm not even exaggerating. What grade, I, what grade were you in? So I was basically a, I was a senior kind of, but they were basically like. You're going to have to come back. Just be a super senior. Yeah. So I was already taking senior and junior classes. Because mm. they were like... I was... I was... Basically already doing 11th grade the second time. But okay. I was taking some senior classes. Gotcha. So th- it got to the point where like no exaggeration. I had teachers that were like, dude, you should just drop out. <laughs> no shit. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Take your dad's truck... And get out of here. I think th- I think the school was like <laughs> enthusiastic about me dropping out. <laughs> that a Damn. Oh yeah, I remember that day in school. I used actually, to like in the freshman center. I had, like, <laughs> did you have to like fill out anything to drop? Yeah, out? It, dude, it's way easier than you think. Oh, I would beg. I would beg. You just have to be eighteen, no? Out. Or eighteen, or your parents have to sign you out. Uh. At this point, I was I was freshly eighteen, so and yeah. and the only reason I didn't drop out sooner is because I did I didn't want to like disappoint my parents, which is really That's funny sweet. to think about, because I'm just like, that was the one <laughs> thing where I was like, I don't want to I don't want to let them down, but I will just never go, and when I go, I just refuse to do anything. No, I get that thinking though. It's just like that's definite. You're like I'm out. Well, I also thought it was a bigger deal at the time than than it was. Yeah. N- now I'm just like, dude. I wish I would have dropped out in middle school. Oh, school's a fucking joke. It it's is so a joke. stupid. It, it, it's. I'm anti school straight up. Do you think I could have still done this podcast with, without school? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh... But yeah, I used to like <laughs> beg my mom to let me drop out. <laughs> mom, like please, a lot. What was your plan? Out? Oh, hit the hit the road. I just hated it. I that hated. was that was another thing. I knew if I dropped out, I would have to get like a job, a job, and I didn't want to do that either. I get that. I was working though at the time. Go on America's Got Talent and get discovered that way. Yeah, that was basically. Yeah, my yeah. Thing. And then I, I went remember. to I, I went guess to it was one, American. I, then I went to one semester of college mm. at Harvard, and um, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I yeah. thought that was a silly. I would just like idea find like there. equations that weren't finished on the board. <laughs> I'd finish them. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, Ben Affleck's my best friend. <laughs> anyway, but best friend's Ben Affleck. <laughs> that movie's a fucking classic, dude. It's the second time the Step Brothers has been brought up on this podcast, like in the past two weeks. That's good. You got, you got good people on here. Um, <clears throat> but I had dang. no plan. Tried college. Not for you. I think we got a tour offer. And we're like, you guys want to open up for a loss for words? You guys were like, yeah, <laughs> peace out, college. <laughs> that got me. It was probably something like yeah. that. Yeah. Hey, things, back- were, things were different back then. It seems See, official. What tour was it? Was it Makeout Party? It could have been. Or was that be- uh, when you were still in school? No, because I was like the Bayside tour. Oh, that had to be. I was that. 21 then, so I guess. Yeah, I think it was like the Make Out Party tour or something. Was there a tour before then? There was, was there like one we did with I'm Alaska. It was like half the shows got canceled. Very nice. Why? Because we booked it through MySpace and like people. Dude, the TBDs. No one knew who we were. You know, like, Yo, is your MySpace still active? Is it? I don't know. Is it? I don't think so. I, I, to, I don't even know how to get to MySpace anymore. And I, I went a weird way and I tried to click on a song. Not this man, different band I was in. And I, the song went to play. And I was like, fuck. Well, on a year. No, another band, but dude, I really wanted to Justin Timberlake to just bought that shit and deleted it. <laughs> yeah, he went control all delete. <laughs> like my memory. <laughs> I would love to look at my current top eight, what it would be. I just don't know. 
Oh, fuck. Yeah, I don't even remember my... I do remember my URL. I won't say it because I don't want people to go to it. But could, could you still visit the... I can't find anything on there or Zanga or anything. You, oh, Zanga. Dude. You don't want to find dude. Zanga. <laughs> I'll just say, if anybody... Yeah. Something just happened on there. Just started recording more. Oh, okay. Had a pop, oh. it had a pop up. Yeah, you're good. But yeah, tried college, didn't love it. Wasn't what uh, Asher Roth I, 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 uh, I, built it all up to be. It was, it was my math class, really. It was all <laughs> letters, and I'm like, there must be a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it's all letters. I was, I was just like, there's no way this is real. You go to your professor, and you're just like, yeah, I, I just got a question. These are letters, right? Especially <laughs> numbers. It was all letters. I was like, that's not math. This is English. Oh. oh you were taking English. <gasps> no. I'm in the I wrong wasn't. class. Apparently it was math. I just didn't know how it was math. Dude, math is... Um, X plus Y equals... Is bad. Yeah, it wasn't even algebra. It was just like, what? I, I, I was just like, I'm not even going to try to attempt to understand this. You know, math is for suckers. Yo, straight up. Yo, teach us basic math. Te- teach us up to division. And we're good. That's all I've ever used. Yeah. And then if you want to be a fucking scientist, you or can figure the rest of like, out. You figure out the rest of that shit. But, but like, trigonometry, dude. Or, yo. You can trigonomist tree this. Yeah. You can Honestly, trig- yeah. I got something. <laughs> I got something you can trig on. <laughs> uh, I feel like they should just tell you like how to uh, balance a checkbook. <laughs> Oh, or do your taxes properly. This is some old people shit, but I do agree with that, dude. I don't think it is though. It no, it's, it's common sense. But I mean, it's never learning trigonometry, which I remember none of that. I just learned and about cheated, taxes now. Cheated on my final because someone texted the answers uh, to the trigonometry final in senior year of high school. Everything was wrong. <laughs> Every. <laughs> Answer was wrong. That's true. I got like a twenty percent. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> if you I'm like, a, oh fuck yeah, I don't have to do any. Was it like and a you, prank? It must have been because. <laughs> and you probably weren't the I only one. I saw other kids in my class like looking at their phone too during the during the final. Dude, so, I just imagine everyone just being like, "There, this teacher's looking at them and like, <laughs> this, is the, this is the dumbest class I've ever had." <laughs> There's probably twenty kids that all got twenty percent. <laughs> Yeah, they all had the same. Like you guys all had the same answers. Huh? Interesting. Yeah, dude. I thinking about trying to be like slick in school. I probably wasn't at all, but I thought I was being <laughs> yeah. so like coy and just like yeah. yeah I, I used to this. strain my eyes cheating in Spanish class. I, I, like, di- I, yeah. I, I didn't. Don't cheat. look. I didn't, didn't cheat. cheat? Oh, dude, I, I honestly know. thought we were talking about this. I thought cheating at in like at school was like a th- just a thing in movies. <laughs> Up until recently. <laughs> I used to copy people's homework before, like right before class, and I was. Oh yeah, I did that shit. I was, I was bad, and no, I that's really good. did not apply myself. It wasn't against my principles or anything. I just saw thought it was something like people don't actually bother doing that. That's like oh. a, if you put in the effort to cheat, you, why aren't you just doing the homework to cheat or the test, whatever? To like cheat for like multiple choice, like you have to keep your head straight and you have to stretch your eyes. To see what they're yeah, doing, it, it's yeah, like yeah. exhausting. It's almost harder than studying and getting the right answers. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do that. My fucking stupid ass eyes barely work. Yeah, it was hard. <clears throat> it was so like, stressful. I'd be like sweating bullets by the end. But. I always had thoughts of like, man, if I had a, if I could have a superpower, I could like freeze time, right? Go get all the answers and then sit back down. How sick that would be. Be super sick. Yeah, I would if love you could that. freeze time, but that's what I was thinking. I, I could have done anything else, but I was thinking, man, I could just cheat on my yeah. test. <laughs> if I was a if I was a clock stopper, I think I would. Um, Ooh, clock stopper. That's good. That's a movie. Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Nickelodeon produced it, right? It sounds about right. After blank check. <laughs> yeah, after blank. The guy check. from yeah. um, Bring It On's in it. I have no. I've never seen Bring It On. <laughs> Sorry. Just... Come on. I've never seen Bring It On. <laughs> you have it on VHS and Blu-ray. I have seen Bring It On. I have a sister though. I think that's why. She watched it. She liked Bring It On. I have sisters too, but I didn't watch it because of them. Oh, really? I have three sisters. I didn't see Bring It On. I have an older sister. Eliza she made Dushku. me watch it. But anyway. um, so, I, I think she's... I like her performance in The New Guy more. Oh, uh, The New Guy. She was good. slamming in that. Yeah, she was. Zoe Deschanel? We're bringing back slamming, by the way. Oh, that's just slamming, bro. It's, it's back. I'm slamming. down with slamming. Dude. Hated school. 
School sucks, dude. Hated it. But I like like movies based around high school and stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Like new guy. Like Greece. No, that, that's like porn. Do you mean? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> but like, remember like lining? Like they made you get in a line. Like that was like the shit I hated. Yeah, you were school. cucked out. In Just school. like in the camps, dude. They they are preparing you for but the camps. I was mm-hmm. I was like f- fifteen. And I'm like, they're like, all right, I want a single file line. I'm like. R- what are we doing? Single. File. I just like hate hated that. I felt like such a like I was treated like a kid. I yeah, just, I can't wear a fucking hat. Yeah. Oh, I can't chew gum. Like, That's fucking so corny. I know, dude. It was. I was just like embarrassed to be there in a way. Yo, if you go to school, how are you as a man going to <laughs> school? I mean, you got to do it. I, I understand you do got to do it, but yo, uh, you know what? I'll probably never have kids, but if I do, they don't got to go to school. Homeschool? It's not illegal. You can't. I'm not going to teach them anything. They're going to have to learn learn tough. Hey, like that's did. yeah. The hard knocks right there. I'm going to do what I did, or I'm going to do what my parents did, and I'm just going to be like, yeah, do whatever as long as I don't see it. <laughs> that's good. They never said that, but that was at least at my mom's house. Hey, they could be a top point zero one of OnlyFans. You yeah. never know. Rake it in the money. And I do. I still do. <laughs> yeah, I'm cleaning up. Yeah. <laughs> See, if you let your kids do whatever they want, well, that's, see, that's not true. I was just missing all the time. Mm. Same. They just didn't know what I was doing. Well, like, I had three older sisters, like, way older. So my mom was just, like, really, like, she just, like, gave up. (laughs) She got, like, really lenient with me, you know? Yeah, being the youngest one. Supposedly that's the way it goes. So, like, Eric Peterson was driving me around. She's like, oh, you're safe then. You know, like, he's he's a straight edge young man. Wrong. (laughs) <laughs> wrong <laughs> I like that wrong or eh both oh, oh dude the buzzer is the like the buzzer is sweet thing. dude eh. yeah. it's so rude I love it <laughs> not even I'm gonna stop you right there just eh. yeah <laughs> I like when you guys did that about my, uh, Paul Shark's opinion on nope <laughs> That was really good. <laughs> Wrong opinion. There's no way to do it quietly or like not aggressively. I, yeah, I know. It's 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 brilliant. I love it. <laughs> it definitely seems like the type of kid in school that would be like a not a ginger, but there was this kid in school. O'Doyle. He, O'Doyle. He was honestly looked like O'Doyle, like a, like a shithead like that. I have a feeling your whole family. <laughs> But just very rude. They just drive off a cliff. That's so funny. <laughs> Yo, the rules. But they would, <laughs> the O'Doyles would definitely hit you with an, and you'd be like, all right, dude. Yeah. And then just like hit you with like a nice like little fart afterwards, you know? Like, all right, dude. man. I went right, to school with this kid that, you guys, you remember read alouds? You guys do read alouds? Like popcorns? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically. Yeah, okay. So we'd have like, say our elementary school had like usually three different classes in a grade. Mm-hmm. So we'd have these read alouds like every, Friday or something, where all they would open up a barrier thing, mm-hmm. and all the all the of the grade would sit down, and one of the teachers, the teachers would take one of the three teachers of that grade would take turns reading aloud to these classes for like probably half an hour. And I remember one kid, I won't name his name. I know his name. I remember his name vividly though. I remember exactly <laughs> what he looks like. I could draw a picture of him. Um, and he farted so <laughs> loud, and. The teacher was, like, so mad about it. She freaked out. She, like, scolded him in front of everybody. And it was, like, so mean. Honestly, fuck him. I I didn't like him anyway. But in retrospect, I'm like, damn. Like, it was a fart. What's the big deal? I would have been laughing as a teacher. I would would have laughed, too. Crazy style, though. Like, that was never me. I would never just, like, rip a fart in front of my whole group. Dude, there's kids like that, though. (laughs) I definitely had one like that. I had Logan was... My fart kid in my class, in my homeroom class, and he could suck his own dick. What? <laughs> yes, dude. And he would show us how he could bend that way whenever we asked him to. Dude. Damn, he was Marilyn Manson Logan, in it. show us how you can suck your own dick, and he would do it, and he could. How, how, would he just bend straight he down? Would, like, his dick was just like three uh, three feet long. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easy. All you gotta do is tilt your head you like, just like bow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, Logan. he could do it though. It was crazy. Really? Yeah, but he was the fart kid too. Oh, oh, fart man. kid There's and always a surprise. <laughs> do you guys ever get like uh, the police involved at school or anything? Yeah, there was police there sometimes. What well, happened with me once? Because 
I told on a kid who threatened to shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Go off. <laughs> well, he's like a neo-Nazi kid. There was like these two kids who like would do swastikas on everything. Oh boy. What grade is this? Uh, ninth grade. Okay. This is middle school still, cause yeah. And uh, he was like, we would make we would bully these neo Nazis because of them being in love with swastikas and shit. Right. And uh, he's like, you know, it used to be an African symbol of peace. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever That's consider what they that? Would say. Yeah, they're just two like Nigerian guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we had a problem with them. The punks, the punks had a problem uh, with these punks kids. Punks first, yeah, oh, yeah. And then he, so. he told me he was going to come bring a gun to school and shoot me. So I was like, I should probably tell an adult about this. Yeah, <laughs> you've gone a little too far. And the police came. Our parents had to come. It was a whole oh. thing. It sucked. And they had to con- cons- confiscate the gun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, take it from them. But yeah, I like blocked that out for a long time, and I like remembered it recently. I'm like, that's crazy that happened. So was it like, uh, was he like, oh, I'm going to get you, Simmons? <laughs> it was kind of like that, yeah. It was on the bus. As he get pl- carted off to juvenile yeah. The bus platform center. at the end of the day, he said he was going to bring a gun to school and shoot me. And uh, Mike Kokinda, who was in the Erection Kids as well. <laughs> oh, shout out the Erection Kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, Can't wait for the here. reunion show. Here I am. And where are they? Hmm. They're still searching for it. Honestly, they're out in the world, so I don't know. They're out there. <laughs> we turn on YouTube and yeah. they have like a fucking two two point six million subscribers. It's it's uh it's uh what the fuck are those guys? Named? Jake Paul, Jake and Logan Paul. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Oh, that was a good that was Pokemon good. cards. Oh yeah, isn't, isn't, isn't the necklace? one guy really into Pokemon cards? Yeah. One of the Pauls? Yeah, he wears it as his necklace when he wrestles. Cool. Yeah, they're cool, man. It's crazy that people that they're the famous ones. Out of who? For now. That's true. That's true. Out of, out out of, of video who? setup. Just out of everyone. They just seem like nerds, you know? Can people relate? They're easily uh they're easy to dislike. They are very uh, So they're talked that's about perfect. a lot. They're talked about a lot. Genius like, marketers. Yeah. See, I always thought I was so much more unlikable, but this p- podcast will not take off. So. <laughs> You're super likable, bro. That's... I'm sorry. Hate to we got to turn it up. I gotta I gotta, it we got to be obnoxious. I try. <laughs> <laughs> I try. I try so hard. I'm literally rude to the people that listen to our podcast. <laughs> now, I'm not rude to them, but there's definitely a couple people in the Discord where I'm just like, you are dumb as rocks, brother. Some people are dumb. That's just how it is. Yep. That yeah, is true. Or not, they're dumb. I'm Did just they, mad because somebody said that Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was stupid or yeah, boring. That, that movie's good. That it, movie is good. I've seen it. And before. me as a man, I must defend it with my life. <laughs> no, I was just like, that's just a silly thing to say. It's not a boring movie. It's not boring. I agree. If you think that movie's boring, let's get the gals in here. A girl, yeah. a girl I liked once. I had saw it. She's like, honestly, it was really boring. And I was like, oh. she that she women it. don't get it. <laughs> it didn't work out. Women women watch uh, Quentin Tarantino mm. movies, and it's just like static. They just don't. It's like it's not for their eyes. <laughs> there you go. That, that's yeah. Same thing that happens when they watch uh, football. Oh, it's just three hours. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just kidding. I mean, obviously. You know, I feel like I have to say it. Every I, know, I know, I um, know. But I'm, I actually mean it. Um, I don't respect women that watch football, and that's because I don't like football. And because of that, I don't like, I disrespect men even more than watch football. Cool. How are you as a man going to watch football? That's gay. I love football's gay. I love it. I know. They're like reaching in a guy's ass for a ball. I get it. It's just boring, but it's fun. How are you as a man going to care what another man does on Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> That's not Jesus Christ. Yeah. How are you as a man going to care what another man does on Sunday other than appear at church at Sunday mass? Yeah. That's a fair. That's a really fair point. Yeah. Well, I didn't think about it that way. I'm a fair guy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. You are fair maiden. Yo, do you guys uh, watch the new Lord of the Rings show yet? Everybody's mad because it's too woke, but I watched it and it didn't bother me one bit. What's woke about it? Um, There's like... um. I've watched the first episode and a little bit of the second one now. Um, but nothing struck me as woke in it. Is because a woman is a woman lead. I guess there's like a strong woman character, and also 
uh, um, there's a black elf. Oh, oh yeah, there is. So people don't like that. Why can't they? People really don't like that, huh? You know, I'll say this much. He's handsome. It doesn't bother me one bit. Why would it bother? I never heard of a black elf. <laughs> I've never seen one. Me neither, but I'm totally open to it. I'm open to it. I think I. But you know what? Some people are scared to change, and I get that. Mm. Hey, I'm anti-elf altogether. I was like, dude, if someone shows you an alien in real life, you're gonna be like, the oh, fuck. I wasn't ready for that. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. So people they see a black elf, mm. and they're like, ah, I don't know if I love that or not. <laughs> I. <laughs> so far, I like it. I I think it's it cool. It hasn't grabbed me. I do think it's cool. I don't think it's a. It hasn't like taken. You know, like when a show really takes up your headspace and you just like think about it constantly. Yeah, mm-hmm. it hasn't done that to me yet. But I'll keep watching it because I do like the story of Lord of the Rings, and I'm curious how it's going to tie in with the other shit. Um. Know? Well, this is way before. Yeah, I picked up on that. So I'm gonna. I'll give you a little backstory. Yeah. You know, oh yeah, hold on, let me buckle up. For yeah, this. buckle up. <laughs> Strap in, listeners. You know the um the elf guy that's like the best uh, smith, like in the in the land or whatever. Yeah, Ke- yeah. Keller Brimbor. He's the one who forges the ring. So the ring doesn't exist yet. That's what I figured. Yeah, yeah. it'd be pre ring. I know. I just and fucking I- blew a lot of my. There's, <laughs> there's people listening. Like, uh, come again, sir. <laughs> uh, malfunctioning. Yeah. If there was any ever doubt, if I was um. <laughs> A nerd or autistic. I just put all those doubts to rest. <laughs> I saw a tweet the other day that was like, y'all are claiming autism like it's straight edge. <laughs> and I was I like, damn, me AF. <laughs> I'm getting my autism tattoo this weekend. Oh, fuck yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to wear my shirt one of these days. Yeah. I got a sticker up there somewhere. I got to slap it up. Punks for autism. It was a birthday you gift. Fuck with that? I fuck with that for sure. Yeah, punk yeah. autism. I can get behind that. You're still a punk, right? You still claim punk? No? Yeah, I know I don't look it. I'm a skinhead. (laughs) True, true. Uh, Yeah, I'm punk still. Yeah? I go prep sometimes. You're rocking rocking Vans right now. Not everyone can see it, but John does have his Vans on, so he is. Ooh, I have Nikes. I'm a prep. I got no feet on, so I guess I'm a hippie. Damn, where'd your feet go, boy? I lost my feet. I lost my feet in the wall. <laughs> Damn, Lieutenant Dan. Yo, I watched the Elvis movie. Have we already uh, talked oh, about no, that? Oh, no, I wanted here? to watch oh, it. I haven't talk, watched it yet. Let's talk about it. Dude. Amazing. Craziest movie I've ever seen. It's I, and it's batshit. Here's crazy. all I've seen. I've seen the first five minutes, and I'm like, this doesn't look right. So did you see his first performance? No, not yet. I like, literally saw like the first opening scene. So you just saw like Tom Hanks as an old decrepit man. Yeah, so, and I was like, "What is going on?" It was. In, <laughs> I was confused. His performance was crazy, and I was like, "Yo, I'm not in the right headspace to watch this Dude, movie yet." The movie is like I can't tell if it's. There are some part. The whole thing is so over the top. Yeah, that's how le- that director is. Like, like it's so. Over but I don't the like. Top. I don't really like his other like Great Gatsby sucks. I just rewatched it. It's blow the one with Leo. It sucks, yeah. man. It's so it's bad. so annoying to look at and everything. Mm-hmm. The whole and thing they just play, looks... watch the throne songs between every scene. Oh, I forgot about that. This movie's a little the Who same. Who goes stop me? Huh? Like... <laughs> like every before, like every fucking scene change. <laughs> That's kind of sick. I was laughing at it, but dude, it's it's something. It's yeah, it's bad. It's almost three hours long. Wait, we're we talking Elvis or we're we talking Elvis? Elvis. You think it's wait? You think it's bad? Yeah, it sucked. You think it's bad? I don't think it's bad. No. I don't think I think it's like very unique. I, yo, I like the renditions of the songs, some of them, and I liked Austin Butler's performance as Elvis. Yeah, he killed yeah. it, didn't he? But Tom Hanks is so fucking funny, dude. so bad, and then just like the over topness of the direct direction. I don't know. They couldn't get. John. But I will say, like about halfway through, like okay, I'm like more comfortable with this movie. Dude, now. it felt like um. <sighs> Maybe I'm just giving the fucking guy too much credit, but felt like he was like in on the, the like it felt like he was laughing at the movie with us. You think so? If not, like the movie sucked. If, if that wasn't the intention, the movie is is bad. It felt like I was like, is this isn't Walk Hard. That's how I felt. Uh, yeah, it was. It was definitely like there were so much scenes and so many dialogue, so much dialogue that was like, that's supposed to be bad. I think. I think that's supposed to be like stupid. Better or worse than Morbius? You played the Christmas. Um, as a movie, it was better. 
it because it looks crazy. What, like with the part when he's talking about like the Santa, you play the Santa coming into town or whatever that song is. Dude. He kept going on about that. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. The movie is crazy to me. You should watch it. I want to watch it. I do. I it's do want to watch it. It's very the long. The first five but... minutes, I was like, yeah, I was like, I was like alarmed. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> this is going to be bad. I, yeah, I just, I couldn't wrap it around my head. I forget what I threw on. Where El- Tom Hanks figures out Elvis is white. He's like, he's white. Dude, that scene, <laughs> that scene is so funny. I saw it on Twitter and I thought it was like doctored. So but it's I. literally the scene and multiple people are like, He's white. <laughs> <laughs> it literally like like it zooms in on multiple characters, like like looking at each other, and they're like, "He's white." And like that's the thing. They can, they're like, "Oh yeah, y'all gotta hear this guy. He's playing down at the blah blah blah. Kids are buying his records," and and they're just like, "Oh yeah, I can't. You can't. Nobody buys records like from a, like a colored artist." And he's like, "That's the thing." And then it, like pans in. And he's like, "He's white." And everyone's yeah. like, he's Jesus white. Christ. It's so funny. It, it, it's a wild scene. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, it's so funny. The whole thing is like, I will say the whole time I was watching it, I was like, I'm having so much fun watching this movie. Although, well, it does get pretty sad though. Well, it does, we all yeah. know how the story ends. But dude, it's crazy. Every one of those movies is like the same thing. I know. They're like manipulated by some like weird freak that like mm. controls their money. And then they're just any like I'm over biopics right now, I feel like. I'm just like Yo, you can't make a good one. You can't make one that doesn't isn't kind of like stupid. Yeah. I liked uh like I also noticed like in every biopic someone's falling face first into a pool in one scene or just like Yeah. Like like the uh spun out era of their lives. It's a good <laughs> shot. It's a good shot. It's a good shot. But uh the two biopics I do like are Walk the Line and Love and Mercy. You ever see Love and Mercy? Oh, yeah. Walk the Line. That's Walk Hard is based on. Walk Hard just is the best movie. Yeah, that, is. Is. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually the best movie that exists. Do, with Dewey, Dewey Cox? Yeah. Dewey Cox. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. He cut his good. brother in half, dude. Wrong kid, dad. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, doesn't the dad actually say that and walk the line? Uh, maybe. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've seen it. Wrong kid, dad. But walk art is a work of it's like perfection for comedy. Um, when he catches them doing drugs, and he's like, "Can I do some of that?" You don't want no part of this shit. <laughs> Makes all your good feeling, all your bad feelings turn to good ones. <laughs> <laughs> I also like all the songs in that movie. It's like, in my dreams, you're blowing me. Some kisses. <laughs> Dude, John C. Riley's the goat. I know. Is he not the goat? Dude, he's in a lot of he's shit. He's good at everything. He's good at serious, funny. Yeah. He super is the wacky. Guy. He even does the Tim and Eric stuff. He's like so well rounded and good at everything. Yeah. You are a big Tim and Eric head fan. So oh, am I. I love those guys. I stand. Eric, Tem- that's Temple guys right there. The Philly guys right yeah, there. We have to put on. Gotta. The only Tim and Eric I know is uh, Tim Horton and Eric Cartman. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That was quick. You're good on your feet. Thanks. I like the second one a lot more than the first one. Yeah, I don't really Tim like Tim Horton can suck. I, I think Tim Horton has eggs. decent donuts sometimes. Their coffee's okay. It's, I'd rather I'd rather I go to it, Dunkin' yeah. Donuts. I'd you know? ra- I would rather go to Dunkin' Donuts. I feel like Dunkin's <laughs> coffee. I feel like Dunkin's coffee makes me sleepier. <laughs> Yo. it, it just it, it doesn't work if it's warm their cold brew like hits but their hot coffee is if I have a, if I have like a hot coffee from Duncan I'll be asleep in I think minutes. all their coffee is kind of bad but whatever dude I it's think cheap enough I think if you get an iced coffee with a turbo shot I've, it tastes good you're not the only person I've heard say that it's funny I think that I think that is the key to success that's that's what I usually get if I go to Duncan mm-hmm. and as long as I don't fuck up how much Milk or, yeah, how much milk they put in there? It's usually pretty good. Okay, they got good. Or if they forget the, the turbo shot, in which case it's like, oh, now I just have to drink your regular shitty iced coffee. Cold just like it's just like water. Cold brew hits. Yeah, cold brew hits. I like a nice cold brew. Like there's there's no coffee shop around here. We need a good coffee shop. Yeah, it sucks ass. That does Starbs. Suck. Starbs yeah. is all we got. Yeah, dude, anywhere in the suburbs. You only have Starbucks or Dunkin' or Wawa. It's tough. I mean, like, I'm just surprised there's not one kind of, like, you know, decent coffee shop around here. We're not far from the city. 
We yes. got Cafe Tay up in the corner of the kitchen. That is true. Cafe Tay. But I like to cool spend name. six dollars on a cup of coffee. You know, a nice bougie place. Dude, it's hard to. You know, if if you're not in L.A., mm. it's hard to spend six dollars on a coffee. I know. I was getting cold brews at Reanimator this week. Mm-hmm. Four bucks. The steal. I was like shocked. Like, <laughs> huh, pretty fucking cheap here. I'll yeah. take two. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually spending seven bucks. That's wild. You know, that's why I don't really. I make my own. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. I almost yeah, I never buy coffee anymore. I do like to do it like once a week. Just oh, yeah, just I to, do too. Yeah, I do. Just it. to I say buy. what's up. It's like a treat. Yeah, we'll, we'll walk down the coffee shop. You live, in a, you live in, right near a coffee shop, so it's nice. nice yeah. It's nice walk yeah. down there. Yeah, that's different. Um, we might be at our time for the day. I don't know how long we want to go. Um, we can just chill after this. Yeah, I got to piss. Yeah. I got to pee too. Uh, you got anything to plug? You got Creeks? Yeah, I'm going on toward Manchester Orchestra, and I have a new song coming out September 23rd. Might be out by the time this is out. Hell yeah. It's mm-hmm. called- we have a new song coming out shortly after. I can't tell you when, but <laughs> I can tell you when. I can't tell you. Yeah. I already know when. Oh, you do know. Yeah, but the yeah, song's called did. For Selfish Reasons. If you want to check it out, check it out. It's very good. It's very good. And yeah, Jake Ma- mixed and mastered yeah, it. I so. have heard it. It it's sounds a, it's incredible. It's a cool vibe. Uh, in your morning breakfast. Oh, yeah. We had Matt on the other day, so. Yeah, we just, we got that going on. Got that going on. And what else you got? Um, Congratulations to Matt and Bree. To Matt and Bree. Yes. Congrats. And, um. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's just good to hang yeah, out with my nice fucking to, thanks, for, thanks for coming over. My day ones, may I? Can I say yeah, that? Yeah, you can say that. Uh, yeah, you yeah. can say that. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, well, to do all we our listeners out there. cool sign-offs. To all our listeners out there. Do, 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 do. <laughs> you guys should just be like, you guys should just be like, well, <laughs> and if you didn't know, you should quit your band. And then one of you guys goes, why, you still can. Oh, dude. There you go. Well, if you Not didn't know. The little star thing shoots across the screen. The screen. Oh, like a yeah, yeah. We need yeah, a, like, we need to get a cool animator to animate us an intro. Is what we need to nice. do. Animators. You know how cool there. that would be. You should. You could do it. I, I know animators. Do you? I'm. A, I live in Tinseltown, baby. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm just saying, if there's De- any, Desi's great at animation now. Oh She's been yeah. Popping off on that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She could. Do, can she do something wacky and funny? She breathes wacky and funny, oh, okay. bro. Oh. All right. Well. In that case, then, we'll see you all uh, on Thursday's episode, maybe, on the Patreon. Uh, If not, we'll see the main feed. My diarrhea is coming back to haunt me. Let's go take care of that. I'll wipe.